Good morning, crazy cats and kittens. Speaking of cats and kittens, you can hear my cat chomping down on her food. That's right, you're loud. My cat got into a fight mm -hmm. with another cat or possibly a dog, who knows, but her ear is all ripped up from being outside, so she is a ferocious wild cat. Okay guys, today is the time to turn in your hypothesis test project, or at least part of it. So what I thought I would do for you today is um, list like exactly what you're supposed to be turning in today so that you can kind of have a checklist and make sure that you're doing what you need to do. Um, so I'm going to grab a couple colors. I'm going to use... Let's see, I'm going to use yellow. and blue and orange and I'll use one more color, pink. What fun colors. Okay, so my pink is gonna stand for already done if you're on schedule. Um, the yellow is going to stand for uh, not email. <coughs> Whew, that's rough. Okay. Um, yellow is going to stand for uh, submit to me and to only me, okay? So this will be like an assignment, and that'll be due today, and today is the 28th. All right, blue is going to be the discussion board that's for everybody to see. That's where your infographic goes. Again, that's due today at midnight. And then the orange is going to be um, due tomorrow. Okay, let's see what we got to do. All right, so the hypothesis test project says create a claim about students at Lewiston Altura High School. Um, okay, create a claim. This is something you've already done. Um, so you've already submitted that to me. You don't have, uh, I mean, it should be. Also, it should be um, definitely in your discussion. So this, this is, so the, the discussion piece that you're putting in, this is like your infographic. So what should be in your infographic is the blue stuff. Um, I'm not just highlighting this, this part specifically. I'm just trying to highlight it twice. So um, a claim is what you need, really, the claim. And claim is in your infographic so that everybody knows what your guess was. Um, you've already gotten it approved by me. Pull at least 20 individuals. Now, this could be two different things. Either you've already sent it to me. Um, I'd say about half of you have. <coughs> <coughs> you need to send me an, a list of actual names. Don't send me a list of numbers. So for those of you who only sent me a list of numbers, then it looks like that's something that you're going to have to submit to me. Um, in an assignment. Um, so that's due today. So this is kind of like your, part of your work. If you've already told me exactly the names of who you're asking, then we're good. All right. Next up here, I should probably go across do this too. So claim is approved by Nussbaum. Um, that's something you've already done for points, but this is something that you should definitely post um, online for your infographic. Remember, infographic is blue. All right, real data, that's something, again, that you've already done, but just in case you haven't, you need to turn it in as an assignment today. So, okay. Next up. Uh, write three or more sentences describing your testing technique. Provide some proof that your sampling was random, or if you were unable to create a random sample with your project, explain why. Um, describe your efforts to keep your questioning and measurements unbiased. Okay, so this is testing techniques. 
Um, all of this can be sent to me um, in, th in that assignment, uh, the three or more sentences, how you stayed unbiased. Um, on your project poster, though, you're going to want maybe like one sentence um, explaining maybe what the question was that you asked people. Um, so make sure that you do have like the question that you put in your study, how you said it to people. And that should go in your infographic. Okay, so going back to this, this is something you're going to turn in in that assignment to me today. Um, but you're probably going to want one sentence um, on your infographic that says, you know, um, what you're testing, what question you essentially asked. How you did your study. All right, your hypothesis test math. Um, that's worth 10 points. That is definitely should be off of your poster. Um, maybe on your poster you want the minimum stuff, so maybe you want your um, standardized test statistic. So what your z-score was um, when you figured out your math. Um, that's a good thing that could go on your infographic. If you're going to download a picture onto your infographic, I would suggest like maybe a little bell curve. Um, that shows like your average, so good things for your infographic would be um, your X bar and your S. But all the actual like math itself, like calculations you do, that should all just be in like that personal assignment to me. So again, yellow is the stuff you're just turning into me, and blue is the stuff that everybody's seeing. And pink is the stuff you've already done. So I don't care if you use critical values or if you use p-values, if you use rejection regions or whatever. Um, I need your null and alternative hypothesis, okay? Um, again, all of this stuff is in that personal assignment to me, although you might want to write like your claim and stuff like that, maybe your z-score.